Hi, and we're here at the Panasonic Experience Center at Pinewood Studios, and I'm joined by Paul Meehan, who heads up Panasonic Systems Communications Company Europe. And Paul, please could you give me a quick overview of the idea behind the Experience Center? Yeah, I think Panasonic has a strong name in the consumer market as a real AV specialist. But the Experience Center here at Panasonic is really giving this example to the professional market of our strengths in AV. And this is projection, this is display, large format television screens, and also our interactive board technology. And it's a real opportunity for end users and also for our integrator partners to come along here to Pinewood Studios and see what we do live. And uh, what was the idea behind basing it at Pinewood Studios? Well, Pinewood Studios, it, it's a great name, isn't it? Yeah, the definitely. whole film industry is here. And we've had an experience here for, since 2008. So where we stand today is our broadcast part. So you can see what we do in the broadcast industry, from filming to editing and post-production. Well, it makes sense. Let's take this from broadcast and then move into the AV world as well. So what a great location. James Bond this year. Goldfinger Avenue downstairs. And we're launching as well, which will be the biggest. <laughs> Panasonic or James Bond, we're not so sure. And um, so is this tied in with the Olympics in August? Absolutely, yeah. The Olympics has been a major project for Panasonic now, for probably since five or six years. And as the main AV sponsors, it was a great year to be involved here in London. Panasonic are launching a, a number of new professional products this year, starting with a new projector. And I'm joined by Rene Yotsu, who's going to talk to us about it. So what's new about this projector, Rene? Well, there are many things that's new about this projector, but first of all, this is the world's first full HD LED laser projector with HD based D technology. So I just had many features, well, in that phrase, but this is again the world's first projector uh, with the 1080p LED laser projector. So it can do, um, it has 20 talent hours of life that you do not require any maintenance. So no filter, no lamp replacement. So you can forget about the projector after it's installed for the 20 thousand hours. Okay, I guess the first thing we need to talk about then is, is the LED laser hybrid. Yes. So look, can you talk about that a little bit, please, and explain exactly how that works? Yes, well, the LED laser um, is replacing the light source. So the light is pr being produced by those semiconductors. So we have a red and a blue LED. And we have an uh, array of blue lasers that shines upon the phosphor wheel to create the RGB colors. And it's a one chip DLP system. So the laser is creating the green color effectively. Is that the way it works? Yes, that's the way it works. And is that how you managed to get 3,000 lumens from an LED projector? Well, th there's a combination of many technologies that we uh, realize the above 3,000 lumens of brightness. And one of them is um, the actually the collimate lens that's right in front of the laser that converges the light and that lens is manufactured in the same factory as the Leica lenses for Lumis cameras, so a very high precision lens that converges the light for high efficiency. And also the phosphor reveal that uh, changes the wavelength of the blue lasers to green. Um, the phosphor, um, we have a black box technology and a pat patent at Panasonic. Another new feature in the RZ470 and the 370 series is the technology that we call Digital Link, uh, which in the industry is no more um, of another term as HD based D technology. And what that is, is you can take one CAF 5E and six or, or above cable and then transfer everything from um, uncompressed HDMI signals to audio control commands all through one CAT 5 e and 6 above cable. And that's all the way up to 100 meters. Right, so you have really long distances from projectors. Yes, really long distance from the projector. So, but with just one cable, so you, you save lots of cabling and wiring costs. And also the projector can be used in, in portrait yes. form, is that correct? Yes, that's another interesting feature that the product um, has, which is the 3D, oh, not 3D, sorry, the uh, portrait mode capability. So you can prop the projector up and you can use it in many angles that you couldn't before with lamp-based technology because the lamp had to be cooled a certain direction. Right. Another area that Panasonic Professional have been expanding into is LED displays, and I'm joined now by Enrique Robledo to talk about that. So Enrique, what have Panasonic been doing in terms of professional LED displays? Okay, it's very good we have the opportunity to um, uh, show here the new um, video wall LEDs displays that we are bringing to the market. So we just announced in uh, Infocom in the, US, in the US the introduction of the product, and we are showing it for the first time in Europe. So uh, what we um, understood is that you need three key factors to make a um, um, bigger impact. So the first one is that you can expand it in a, in a, in a, in a, to larger sizes, but then you need a brighter product. So we brought 
the brightest uh, LED video wall with 55 inches with 800 candelas per square meter. Okay. And then at the same time, uh, one of the um, small problems that the video walls have is the um, frame that you need to reduce it as yeah. much as uh, you can. So this one we're showing here, it's uh, just 5.3 millimeters, which is uh, probably the smallest in the market. So what's the maximum number of panels that you can have within one video wall display? Okay, you can have up to 5x5 five five, uh, without any uh, scaler. Um, with a standard scaler, you can have no limitation. Right, and I understand that you can also uh, calibrate each panel so that the, uh, the, the total image uh, looks accurate when you're moving from one panel to the next, is that right? Yes, that's right. Okay. Um, Enrique, when can we expect to see these panels available for, for sale? Okay, those will be later in the year, so uh, by the end of the calendar year um, 2012 okay. in the European market. Enrique, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.